Hi, today we're here to talk about the Almond Maxi Heat product. This is a uh, 1 million BTU unit. Each of our burners are 515,000 BTUs a piece, so we're actually getting slightly over 1 million. Um, we uh, use an IQ system on this product uh, to help define what your combustion ratio needs to be inside of the burner. Uh, we call this our IQ system. And so what that does is it takes your ambient air temperature, your elevation, and it gives you a reading on your screen of what your air band adjustment needs to be. And so every time you start up this unit, it will automatically give you that reading. You walk over, loosen up your wing nut, and then slide that air band to wherever that reading is telling you to go. So it makes it very simple uh, to set up and operate this equipment. Um, it's always uh, giving live accurate readings as well. So if there is a major temperature swing during the shift uh, that the unit is working, somebody can walk over easily, um, undo the wing nut, slide it to the next position, and then go right back to work. Uh, so once we get into uh, all the components that make up this rail of burner, we can take off our black cover. And then the first component we see is our ignition transformer. The ignition transformer is the brain of the burner. So this is what's going to control all the components, uh, such as our burner motor, which is located in the bottom back portion. This has our fan and our blower on it. So this is what's actually forcing clean air into our heat exchanger uh, for our combustion. Um, this also uh, starts uh, helps prime up our fuel pump. All of our fuel pumps on these units are set to 170 PSI. And so all that's set there, there is an adjustment port, and then the bottom bolt is actually where you can uh, put in a uh, pressure gauge. In the front, we have two different uh, fuel solenoids. We have two fuel solenoids because we have two fuel nozzles. The reason we do that is because we have one fuel nozzle that stays on all the time. It's a 1.5 gallon per hour nozzle. And then next to it, we have a 1.25 gallon per hour nozzle. The 1.5 gallon per hour nozzle stays on all the time from startup to shutdown. Uh, the 1.25 gallon per hour nozzle only comes on at startup to help us hit our target temperature, which usually we set to around 210 degrees. And then once we hit that target temperature, that 1.25 uh, gallon per hour nozzle is actually going to start backing off. Uh, and so it'll actually save you some fuel, but it's just there to help you maintain and then and also reach that target temperature faster. So uh, the unit, it moderates that itself and it's, it's, uh, it works very well. If we want to get to our fuel rail, it's pretty simple. We have to loosen up uh, the set screw on the side of the ignition transformer, and then it pulls forward and it comes off. On this, you actually have your photo eye. So this is what detects that flame, um, and then it shuts off the burner if the flame goes away for any reason. Um, these can actually even be pulled off of the ignition transformer. You can clean the lens uh, with a soft, clean rag uh, or towel, and then it can also be replaced. The ignition transformer also connects directly uh, to your electrodes. This is what uh, throws the spark um, across for a, a combustion of the fuel. And then we can get into, uh, we have to remove this cover. And then with a 12 millimeter wrench, you can take off your two fuel lines. now we have our entire fuel rail. So it's a very simple, very quick process. Um, anytime you pull these out, you want to take a look at your porcelain um, pieces for your electrodes. Make sure that they're not cracked or chipped so that way we don't arc to the rail instead of uh, to the end of our electrodes. Uh, you'll see we do have one single electrode block now. So they're not individual electrodes. We have to adjust them and find the gap. They are all preset. So when you go to replace these, you pull off your wires, take out your screw, remove that electro block, and now you just have to replace it with a brand new one. It's already preset, so no adjustments needed. On the end, you have a flame guard. You wanna make sure that that flame guard is nice and clean, uh, so that way we get proper airflow that pushes the flame out and away from your nozzles. And then underneath the electrodes is where your 1.5 gallon per hour nozzle will be, and then on the other side will be your 1.25. So that one will be located off center since it's not the one that's always on the one that's always on uh, located directly underneath those electrodes and then once we're done everything's nice and clean when you go to reinstall 
on that bracket, there's actually a notch cut out where it'll fit um, right in line with the, uh, this housing. So that way you can't push it too far in or leave it too far out. I hope this helps and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Almond Service Department.